When you've got a grown ass man, you can't deal with the fact that his wife has passed away. Again, it's not nothing light, I get it, but you're not an excuse to kill yourself. And his wife was probably fucking cheating on him as well. That you probably ain't even his. You know how many flood, you know how many men are walking around right now looking after Pitney that is not even theirs, you know. Yeah. Not even theirs. I always thought this in my mind. If a girl comes to me and says she's pregnant, as soon as that baby drops or whatever, we're getting a DNA test. I don't give a fuck if the baby has my nose, my eyes, my little ears, yeah? I don't give a fuck, yeah? We're getting a DNA test. Yeah. Trying to dis disprove my um, fatherhood so I don't have to look after the youth. Nah, I'm joking, but... Nah, seriously, I would always get a DNA test. I don't give a fuck. I know what women are like. Heard too many stories, seen too many things. Women step out, man. They don't give a fuck. Remember I knew one guy right at work. He said he was chopping out some woman for a whole year. Two years or something like that. And then one time, he didn't hear from her for about a week, and now she's saying that she's married. So it's like, so the whole, the whole time you had a fiance, in it. Yeah, in that one week that they didn't speak, there's no way, you know, she, she found a, a man, you know, he proposed to her, and then now they're fucking, um, now, and now, now they're married after a week. No, I'm telling you right now, yeah, it's worse. I'm telling you right now, I don't give a fuck what any girls say, right? It's more of an insult when a girl cheats on a man than when a man cheats on a girl. Yeah, I'll tell you what. When guys step out, yeah? Remember, guys, yeah? Men, we are hardwired to spread our seed, yeah? Remember, a man can have a thousand children, two thousand children, yeah? Genghis Khan, yeah? I think he has, he had a thousand children, yeah? But he had two to three thousand wives, or whatever. But he had a thousand children. I think zero point one percent of the world's population are a direct descendants of Genghis Khan. I could all be a descendant of Genghis Khan. I got Chinese in me. Innit? So, men, we are hardwired to spread our seed. So that's why every time, like, we see a nice girl on on, on Instagram or walking down the street or on TV, all we think about is we don't care about her personality. We don't give a fuck how nice she is. We don't give a fuck. When I say how nice she is, how nice she is as a person. We don't give a fuck if she saves children from burning buildings. We don't care about what degree she's got, what university she's got to, what job she has. We don't give a fuck about none of that. Yeah? As soon as we see a nice girl, yeah, all we think about is how we go and bend her up and put it yeah, and, and smash the thing in that's all we care about, yeah? Because we are hardwired to to the point where anything that we see that looks attractive, we're going to want, yeah? Get me, yeah? But women now, right? So, 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 men, so, man, them, yeah, we're just hardwired to just, yeah? Different women or whatever, innit? Yeah, that man, we can have one girl, right? But then we just periodically just go and find the next girl, mess around with it one, two time, and then dash her and then keep it moving a bit, but we'll still come back to our, 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 um, our main girl, right? We, you know, we'll treat the main girl proper, but the other girls are just side things, whatever. Right? But girls, on the other hand, when the girl cheats, it's an insult. For me, like, it's almost like you say, oh, I'm not a man enough, or like, I'm less than a man, or whatever, isn't it? Yeah? I think when a woman cheats, right, it's almost like, she's upgrading or whatever in it yeah because guys man them man them could have a girl who's like a, a eight out of ten and still go and mess with a girl who's a six out of ten yeah? and he don't even know why he don't even know why he wants to mess around with a girl who's of less quality than him uh, uh, than, than his actual girl so his girlfriend's an eight out of ten but a man will still go and chop and knock down a six out of ten i know man i've been with man before their girlfriend is at a certain level, and I've seen them go and mess around with girls who are less than them, uh, who, are, who are of a lower rank than their girlfriend. So, say for example, their girls are seven. They'll go and mess with a girl who's a six or a five. They they would not. They could, anyone will tell you, oh yeah, my man's missus is better looking than that girl, but he's still chasing other girls. 
That's how men are. Men don't give a fuck. But women, yeah, it's almost like, now nah, with women it's different. It's like, it's almost like they want to replace you. Yeah? It's almost like they want to replace you. Uh, for me, I find it more, I think it, it's more of an insult when a girl cheats on a guy than when a guy cheats on a girl. A guy is just cheating on a girl just for fun, yeah? When a girl cheats on a guy, it's more of like an emotional thing. Like it's almost like, yeah, she's trying to upgrade or whatever, isn't it? And, uh, for me personally, I think it's more of a disrespect when a man cheats on a... On a um, put it this way, I'd rather hear... <laughs> I'd rather hear that one of my aunties has been cheated on than one of my uncles been cheated on. Like, when if I heard that a female in my family was cheated on, I'd be like, oh, you know, you can always patch it up. But if one of my uncles or a male in my family was cheated on, it's like devastation. It's like a man, a woman can take back a man that cheats, but a man cannot take back a woman that cheats. No, no fucking way. No way. No way. A man, a man, a woman can take back a man that cheats and move on, but no. You, you as a man, you cannot move on. If your girl cheats on you, you cannot move on. Another man has been, no way. If, you're, if, if a guy, if a guy right now, there might be a man them that's watching this right now, thinking, nah, it's the same. A guy cheating on a girl is the same as a girl cheating on a guy, right? Imagine the next man doing what you do to your girl in your bed. Whilst you're at work, whilst you're transferring money into her account yeah. to go and get her nails done, yeah. she's got an ex man in your yard. And it happens. Yeah, it happens all the time. Yeah. You see that plumber that keeps coming around to fix that leaky, yeah? Oh, there's a leaky pipe somewhere, I tell you that. Yeah, there's a leaky pipe. Yeah, she's fixing his, yeah, he's going around there to fix the leak, but I think she's fixing his leak. Yeah. So yeah, a man, a man, a man cheating on a woman is not as bad as a woman cheating on a man. I know it sounds biased. I know it sounds sexist, whatever. Isn't it? Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, it's more of an insult when a man is cheated on by a woman than when a woman is cheated on by a man. Yeah, it's like almost like devastation. Like, like if a girl cheated on me, I would look at her like she's dirty. Whereas if a like you know if a guy cheats on a girl, just think, oh, whatever in it, it's just fun, man, whatever in it. But if a guy, <laughs> if a guy cheats on um, uh, a girl, it's not as bad. But when a girl cheats on a guy, that like, is bad. It's bad. It's bad. What? 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 Go on, Tim. It's bad, man. It's bad. Ah, uh, girls will get over it, though, man. Girls will get over it still, man. But yeah, man, it's much worse when when a girl when a guy when a girl cheats on a guy than when a guy cheats on a girl, man. But any guys watch this right now, if your girl cheats on you, do not like if a girl cheats on you, the best thing to do, right, is just cut the girl off completely, innit, yeah? If not, if you but <laughs> The thing is, right, if you're not strong enough to do this, I wouldn't even bother. So I'd just say cut the girl off completely. But if you're strong enough to do this, then just have her on the side, innit? Basically, friend zone her, innit? That's it, yeah? No dates, no nothing. Come over, yeah? That's it, yeah? There's no dates, nothing like that. No talking on the phone, no texting, how are you, good morning. No, yeah? But... A lot of men won't be able to do that. A lot of men won't be able to detach themselves like that, innit? So the best thing to do is just to cut the girl off completely. I'm trying to think. Have I heard any mad stories about any girls cheating? Now, I've seen stuff on the internet where women have been exposed and it's like the guy... Like, this man on... <laughs> there's one guy on YouTube, right? He made a video talking about... Um, so the build up to his baby being born, he's all getting excited. You know the people that vlog about their family? Yeah. Their, their whole YouTube channel, their whole YouTube world is about their Ross Clark family and just their day-to-day -day stupid um, activities or whatever, innit? Yeah. So he had one of them type of YouTube channels, innit? He ain't 
him standing there, standing in front of a fucking camera, spitting like me in it. Yeah, he ain't talking no realness in it. He's just one of them guys who just do them the cool vlogs and shit like that. Oh, we're going to Costco today. We're going to Walmart. One of them type of man. And so yeah, he's all vlogging about his family. He's all about yeah, you know, I bought this new pram. I bought this, bought that, whatever. And it boom. I'm sure even King Rich has done a reaction video on it. Anyway, he finds out that it's not his baby, right? I think someone contacted him or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. It's not his baby. And yeah, he done a DNA test and he found out the baby weren't his, or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. Now, obviously, he made a build up because obviously he films this stuff, isn't it? So he's doing a build up to, yeah, it's not, I'm having a baby, I'm going to have this, maybe a girl or whatever. Come to find out he's not having a girl. Yeah, so come to find out the baby's not even his. How embarrassing is that? How embarrassing is that? But I'm sure I watched the whole video, I watched a decent portion of the video. I think she was still kind of seeing her ex at the same time as when he stepped in. So it wasn't like they was officially together when she was still messing around with her ex, whatever. Isn't it? Maybe he was kind of the new guy, but she ain't. You know, these girls like the monkey branch and Naomi. So maybe he hadn't, um, she, maybe she hadn't completely got rid of the other guy first and she was still messing around with both of them at the same time. Um, and I think she, yeah, so she must have got pregnant um with the other guy's baby and then had the baby but the reason why it was so bad is he he hyped it up he hyped it up because he's all filming it and stuff like that if it was just a tip where he's like you know just told a couple people ever yeah i'm gonna have a baby ever like, you know what yeah it's not even my baby you know because she was with another guy at the same time they were doing like whatever but when you're filming this stuff yeah man i'm all kodak in this shit yeah man i'm all filming everything yeah Man, all your mother care, yeah, buying a pram, yeah, buying this clothes, that clothes, yeah, man, all filming the whole thing in it. So then, when you don't get the results that you wanted, or the truth, yeah, comes out, whatever, you're gonna be disappointed, whatever, innit? If it was just a thing that he kept between his man them and his close people with them, and, you know, he found out, oh, you know, it's like my baby, you know, he wouldn't have been that bad, but it's because he hyped it up so much. And then he got he got he got way too gassed over having a baby.